Yes, that's Joe Brian here. And today we've got two new features for the FIFA Mobile Season 2. FIFA Mobile 18, whatever you want to call it. But the first two features of the new season have been announced. So we've been announced a new campaign. Well, the campaign mode. Let's start with campaign mode. Then we'll move over into the new car designs and what you can do with them, which we predicted a couple of weeks ago. So campaigns. Campaign is a brand new single player experience coming to the new season of FIFA Mobile. Progress your way through chapters inside the campaigns in order to obtain new new players and rewards there'll be many unique campaigns available which will offer rewards so we've got this screen here and from what i can tell here it basically looks like you work your way through each level almost like um it's like a it's like a um, a level map like say you've played like dragon ball z budokai um and stuff like that you'll play it where you'll go into the map and then you'll work your way up each slot one at a time there may be a battle there may be a scenario there may be different things on each node so it looks here from what you can see here like you start new information then you move to maybe like a training like a live event style event um and then you're doing another one then you may play a full match you may have to score a few goals um it looks interesting obviously the the new overlay all looks nice and crisp and super hd if you ask me um stamina even the coins and the fifa point icon they all look nice and clean um it looks really good but yeah campaigns sound really interesting and i guess it's a way like I guess at times this year they've done it in batch a little bit of stuff because sometimes like for retro and some of the older ones you do one and then that node will spring off to another one which unlocks the next event and then that next event unlocks the final one and then you get some get the reward so it looks like it's going to be sort of basing on that but putting them all I guess in one area in one hub rather than you having to have a area where it's all in numerous areas so yeah it looks really interesting obviously they've only released this preview of it so far so we'll have to see what comes i'm thinking maybe they do it for like different scenarios and different events so when we get the promos now maybe like for example like um scream team team of the year easter um st patrick's day it'll be a st patrick's day campaign and stuff maybe you have to do it multiple times i don't know but it looks pretty good and then the second thing they've announced well they've kind of announced two in one here they've showed us the new card designs well the base designs but they've also announced that player training will be in this year i guess there's been kind of subtle nods to this during the pre-season event and from us seeing what Madden mobile have done but um, yeah, here's the new designs. Uh, well, the bronze, silver, gold, and elite. But what it does say is that, so if we break down the blog, it says in the new season of FIFA Mobile, you'll have the opportunity to train players. You'll be able to train any bronze, silver, gold, elite, or master. So is master a new tier? Do we, are we getting bronze, silver, gold, elite, and master? If we are, they haven't shown us pictures here because that's clearly bronze, silver, gold, and elite. So what are master? Are they like campaign masters? Like you get promo masters now and they're just giving them their own category going forward. So they're not elites, they're actual masters. Or are they a new tier for a certain rating that they haven't revealed yet? But either way, you can train them up. So they've shown an example here, like you've got your gold 79 rated Deli Alley and he, you can train them up to an 80 rated Deli and it seems the picture changes. So maybe they've got a set of pictures for every player and you can train them up. But from the looks of here, this indicates that in modern mobile or if you've played it you'll see that most players have a cap so like for example certain cards can only go up so many ratings and they cap out so for example like a 70 can go only up to like 89 or 90 like a lot of them can only go max 20 levels this potentially suggests that they can go as many as you want so imagine that going getting the worst team in, in fifa mobile or the lowest rated and making them or like whatever it caps out, say the cap's 100, say the cap's 99, making every making a 40 way to play become 99. You could literally now, if you want to, rather when new players come out, ignore them and just always concentrate on making the team you want the most the highest. Say you support like me, I support Nottingham Forest. I could make a high rated Nottingham Forest team. That that's pretty sick. We've seen the hints of it because it's on the back of the cards. Like when you, for the Nilo and later players, sometimes they unlock training items in season two. So I guess they've dropped sort of hints there. So if this is the case and we can upgrade anybody you want from whatever rate you want to the highest, who's your main goal? Who's your first target? Who do you plan on getting first and getting up as high as you can? Let me know in the comments section below. What do you think of campaigns? What do you think of these new designs? If you want to have a design, now we know what the template, what it looks like. Who watched the designs you out there? We're going to start testing program designs of this shape out. 
I want to see them. Tweet me at Jobelin HD on Twitter. Let me know what you think of all these. It all looks exciting. Apparently, they're going to start releasing new features every week until it's ready. I'm excited. I, I hope you guys are. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new here. FIFA Mobile daily videos every single day. We uploaded a pack opening earlier. Check that out if you haven't already. And we're going to be opening the Elite Treasure Chest tomorrow. 